In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint a new garage as fast and easy as possible. And if you're new to this channel, my name's Josh. This channel's all about DIY to save a ton of money. So be sure to subscribe, ring that bell so you get a notification every time I release a new video, and hammer that like button for me. That's all I ask for in return for making this video. So this is going to be a fun video to make, so let's get started. In order to begin painting the garage, you must first remove all the items out of the garage into a different location. And if you don't have that option, just move everything to the center of the garage, then broom up any loose debris that's left on the floor. Because this drywall is freshly finished, we got drywall dust all over the floor and it's pretty thick. So we're first gonna shop back up the whole floor before we address the walls. If you do not own a shop vac, you can certainly get away with just brooming the floor, but I highly recommend a shop vac if possible. Now that we shop back all of the floor, we now gotta remove the dust from the ceiling and walls. In order to do so, there's two different methods. I'm gonna show you the first one, which is a slower method, but it's not gonna cost as much as the second method, but this is what most people probably do. We just take a dust mop, and first you start on the ceilings, and you're going to want to go back and forth to remove the dust in a nice even pattern and then go outside once your dust mop is full of dust and wring it off and then after you do the ceiling you're going to want to start at the top of the wall and work yourself down to remove the dust with the microfiber dust mop so that's going to be the cheapest method but since this video is about how to paint a garage fast and easy, the fastest and easiest way is to simply just use a leaf blower. I got my Ego battery leaf blower. And I'll put a link in the description below if you want to check it out for yourself. But you can simply just go through and blow the wall off like so. So when you do this, we need to open up windows on each side of the building. Then we're going to blow the dust out of the building. So we're gonna go with this method because it's fast and easy. And be sure to wear a dust mask. When using a leaf blower to remove dust, I first open up the windows and then blow the dust from the ceiling down. You wanna start from your highest point and work yourself down. And then I get the air flowing in one direction with the breeze. So as you can see in this upstairs, I'm getting the air flowing in a straight line going straight out the window and there's a significant amount of dust flowing out as you can see here. I always like to work off of a tarp when I'm painting, so I will place all my painting supplies on that and use that as a workstation as I'm painting. I'm now gonna mask off the windows and doors and anything else I don't want paint to get on. And the masker I'm gonna use is the M3000 made by 3M. I've been through several hand maskers and this one is by far the best. And I'll put a link to it in the description below. But I have six foot plastic on it. So it's gonna cover these windows with no problem. If you'd like to see a detailed video that I made in the past using this hand masker, check out the video link in the top right hand corner of the screen and it shows you step by step on how to use this and mask. But for now, I'm just gonna show you how to mask this window. To use this, it's very simple. And if you don't wanna buy a hand masker, you can simply use tape and plastic and do it without one, but it's just way quicker since this video is about how to do things faster to use a masker. So we're gonna pull this out to length. And as you can see, it applies the tape to the plastic at the same time. And we wanna go from the windows edge clear to the other window's edge about like that and we're going to seal it right onto the wood part of the window and if you get it up on the drywall a little bit that's fine as well then we pull and it rips it to length then we just want to make sure we got a good seal and how this works is we simply just roll out the plastic like so so again, this is why it's way quicker to use one of these. And then we just fold it down. Now I'm gonna take the blue painter's tape and I'm simply going to seal this edge right here like so. Really important. I am going to do what I can off the ladder. And I'm now just gonna finish off the window by taping the rest of it off. Make sure we seal it really good. That was a quick rundown on how to tape up a window. So now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do along the edge of the walls. Along the edges of the wall, I'm going to run construction paper. I usually use three or four foot wide construction paper. 
and this is going to save paint from getting along the edge here and it's up to you if you want to run it across your whole garage floor but i got a tarp in the middle and i shouldn't get too much overspray when i do this painting so i just do along the edges to protect the floor right here where you have more risk of getting a lot of paint on it again we're just going to roll this right around the edges and then i'm going to use blue painters tape just to tack it to the floor so it doesn't shift around Because I want to keep the wood look of my staircase because I will be staining it later I do not want to get paint on it so I'm going to mask it up as well and I'm just going to place the construction paper down the steps and then finish it off with my hand masker using 12 inch paper to cover up the sides. Because I already stripped the wires inside of the electrical boxes, I'm just going to take Glad sandwich baggies, it can be any brand really, but I'm just going to stuff one inside the box so paint doesn't get on the wires that I'm going to be using to wire up the receptacles and also any other electrical box that needs covered as well. And the light switches, since they're all labeled to where what wire goes where, definitely need to cover those up with plastic as well. So that is a good tip for when you start spraying the paint. And after I put the baggie in here, I like to cover up the screw holes of the electrical boxes because too much paint can limit the screw from going into the screw hole. So I'm just going to take blue painter's tape, place right over those screw holes. And you can also simply just take a full piece to go from screw hole to screw hole, however you want to do it. I just try to cover those up like so. You also want to be sure to cover up things such as this 50 amp receptacle. I'm just going to place painter's tape right over it along with the panel box and any light switches. So as you can see here, I'm just going to take plastic and tape around the switch boxes as well. Now that we got all the dust out of the building, everything's taped up ready to go. We're now going to put on some primer. I'm using PVA primer. Whenever you have a new garage and the drywall is fresh, you want to make sure you use PVA. It stands for polyvinyl acetate, and it's going to give that drywall a good seal so you don't have to worry about the longevity of your finish on the drywall. So we're going to go ahead and stir this up and get it ready for spraying. When using a paint sprayer, it is always best practice to strain the paint first. As you can see, I got a five gallon strainer. Pour it in, then strain right through it and pull the strainer back out. And now because this video is how to paint fast, I'm gonna be using a airless sprayer. And I got an extension because we have to do the ceilings first. And also even with walls, it's nice having an extension on here. This wand makes it very nice. And then we're going to prime the primer into the paint sprayer first. And I made a detailed video on how to operate one of these. And I'll put a link up in the top right hand corner of the screen if you wanna check that out. So right now I'm gonna get ready to go. And also you wanna make sure you wear some kind of suit so you don't get paint overspray on you. I'm gonna be wearing goggles and a respirator. So first let me get this primed. When using a paint sprayer, it is always important to overlap about a 50% of the fan width while you're spraying. And also you wanna overlap any adjoining runs. As you can see here, I'm overlapping on top of the first run across the garage. And with that being said, you wanna make sure that you back roll if you do not have experience painting with primer. I'm gonna explain more about back rolling here in just a moment, but that's when you just take a roller right over what you just sprayed. And that is something with experience you won't have to do as often. And also primer is very forgiving, so it will absorb in the drywall. So if it isn't on even, you won't notice it as much as your final coats. Now 
now that the primer is totally dried, when you look down the walls, since this is a new garage, you're going to inspect for any drywall imperfections or any raised grain in the drywall. So like I mentioned in my last video, whenever you're finishing drywall, if you sand against the paper, it might raise it up a little bit, which it's almost impossible to avoid in some places. So you're going to have some of that. So the best thing to do is repair any drywall imperfections that you find now before you paint your final coats on. So right now, all I gotta do is take a sanding head that's attached to a pole, a pole sander, and we're gonna go across the wall lightly with a 180 sandpaper. And this is something that's just quick, just to knock off any dirt that may have flew up while you're priming, any raised paper from the drywall, or anything of that nature. So we're just quickly going to go across the wall like this. And now when we paint, we're gonna have a perfectly smooth wall. We're now gonna prepare for our final paint coats. And this is gonna be the paint that we're gonna to use to finish. It's the Valspar Ultra, Ultra White. And there's no color added here. And if you watched my video from where I put this in my last garage, if you wanna check that out, I'll put a video link in the top right hand corner of the screen. It's a much more detailed how to spray paint. But with that being said, this goes on in a satin finish. So here's another way to speed up your garage painting is you wanna paint the ceilings and walls the same color. And this is going to be satin, so it's not super glossy, but yet it's not real flat like ceiling paint. So you will see across your ceiling any drywall imperfections that are really apparent. So just keep that in mind if you go with satin. But this is just gonna be something that's gonna be washable and wiped down so you can wipe your walls down if they get dirty. In order to make this operation go quicker, I'm gonna have a helper come behind me with an 18 inch roller. I recommend an 18 inch over a 12 because you cover more surface area per swipe. And I like to back roll everything I spray. It's a common practice. It helps the paint go on nice and smooth. So if you're not a professional sprayer, it's okay. And if you don't wanna use a sprayer, you simply would just use your 18 inch roller with a paint tray and you just go to town that way. But either way, 18 inch roller is key. So we're gonna start here on the ceiling and it's best to try to roll towards the light. But since we're in this garage, the light's coming in in all directions. So we're just gonna start here on the ceiling and go back and forth this way. So as I spray, my helper's gonna be back rolling. As for the final two coats of paint, I always back roll. As you can see, as I'm applying the paint to the wall, I have my helper back rolling it. And with back rolling, you more or less give it a even spread of paint, just as if you're using the roller in general. And yet, if you have to touch up the paint later, because it's back rolled, you can just use a roller for touch up, unlike if you just sprayed the wall, then you'd have to get the sprayer out every time you made a touch up. So that's just a little tip. And then after everything has the two coats and it is not dried yet, I like to remove the masking as you see here. That way it does not pull the paint off the wall as you remove the masking. So that is a helpful tip. I know what you're thinking. I look really dirty right now, but that's okay. That's part of using a paint sprayer. And the spraying goes so quick that I decided to go ahead and hit some trim while I had the sprayer out. So that is the fastest way to paint a new garage. And if you want to see a review that I did on this sprayer, check out this video. It'll help you out.